Andrew, yesterday at the Maddox Foundation, Robin had mentioned to me something about sharing and uh, starting a chess club. Yes, it was, you know, your, your mind, sometimes you don't think about things, but well, yesterday as, as the presentation was going on, I, and it, it was never was mentioned, and I thought about that back in the late 90s, uh, Miss Walker along with Miss Ballard, they were the gifted spotlight teacher at Oak Grove School down there. My son and several more kids was in that class. So what they did, they got a chess master, which was uh, Mike Stewart, which I've been knowing Mike, you know, 30 years, and I never knew Mike was a chess master. So they got Mike uh, to start teaching the kids chess. And uh, so that's where chess started, right there on Oak Grove Road at Oak Grove School. And and you take and see the, the, the young second and third grade kids, uh, they went on to compete, uh, you know, just beginning. And not only did they compete, but they won. Uh, made several trips even to Nashville. And now here we are, in, you know, in 2023, we look around at what started with one little class and, and people like, uh, Miss Sharon Walker, along with Miss Ballard, that had the foresight to start teaching chess to their students, you know, for critical thinking skills and problem solving. Now it has grown tremendously. Not so it's not only in one school; it's in all the schools in Desoto County now. So, but it started right there at Oak Grove with uh with with, with Miss Walker, along with Miss Ballard. They had the foresight to know that these kids needed, it, and they taken chess and used it in education. So, I mean, she just, she got a legacy to remember her along with her Miss Ballard. So it's just good that when you think about it, reflect about what people did in their lifetime and how it's affecting kids now. Josh?